Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old mine in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are gonna ride out, and we are gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. But what really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son! I... We need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. 
Oh, it has to blow over soon. Ah. Careful over this bridge here. Davy, too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. A couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. What are you doing? You sure about this, Micah? Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp, back up the hill. Huddled around a fire, waiting for Daddy to put food on the table. Said it before, we got too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. That ain't fair, Arthur. I earn my share. You think it's unreasonable to expect others to do the same? So, this house... You speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders. You know me. I'm a good boy. Right. Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Easy. Okay. Let's head down there. Let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. 
Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. disturb you uh my friends and i well we got into some trouble up the way lost in the storm ah gentlemen we can't help you mister i got folks arthur dying on the trail we got a problem <laughs> folks there's a corpse right here no i i just arthur, need some there's a body of food in the wagon i hear you just gentlemen Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. upside down grab as many supplies as you can we need the essentials food medicine whiskey oh driscoll's i don't believe it it's a strange one all right maybe they're hiding up here too there's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. Well, you should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Huh. Looks like the poor bastard was married too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here.
Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> He's already skittish. Get away from me! Micah, ah! what the hell do you think you're doing? Ah! Why a big ain't ya? <laughs> Leave her alone! I wasn't doing yeah. nothing. She's one of them old Driscoll's. No, she ain't, Micah. Look at her. Miss, miss. Yes. Are you... <laughs> Oh, you fool! Come on! Miss! Now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss! Miss! Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband. Okay, miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss? Adler. Adler. 
Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up, give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. At least go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know... The situation were reversed, and he'd look for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Yeah, and there's Basio. Cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? 
You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkerton. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. We continue along the cliff wall here. Baby got shot. Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hard again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. yourself. It's not very wide here. Come on, boy. Horses are getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. if he can hear us. Come on. Up there. Ha! It's coming from up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I'd grab that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? This way. Sure about this. It's coming from this way. Okay. It's slippery. Be careful. In the end of that, we're high up here. You're telling me.
There's a drop. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Come on. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, Tom. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. <clears throat> Freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. You see that on the ridge? Perfect. I'll distract him while you get to the horses. Go. Draw them off. All right, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. Like a, a dog bite. Uh, new a fella? 
Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. shelter now. You should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Nah, you can do better than that. One thing you ain't short on is fantasy. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. some help. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Right, here we go. There we go. Uh, Ay, uh, careful, idiotas. Uh, it's his leg. Come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that... that civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? <laughs> 